Hello, it's Rodney Allgood again. You know, I am a motivational speaker and a coach, a life coach to people. And for a long time, I hesitated um, working with or to consistently make videos for people of my ex-faith, Jehovah's Witnesses, because I didn't want to get pegged into that. I didn't want to. I didn't want to label or to be boxed into just that thing. You know, I want to avail myself to work with everyone, and I didn't want. Um, I want. I didn't want to be consumed with my past. But as I work with other people, I'm always reminded that um, I understand this stuff more than I understand anything else. I mean, it was a good 35 years of my life, and. Um, it feels quite selfish to not help people when I know I have information that could help them. So I'll continue to make videos and, and reach out to you and, and kind of show you the way because there is a way out of the darkness if you feel lost, stuck, and don't know where to go. The first thing I want you to know is that you have greatness within you. This is something that I always strive to, to teach people, whether I'm working with corporations or whoever I'm working with, is you have greatness within you. You are given something special. God, the universe, whatever you believe in today, because I'm talking about universal law, you have something special within you. And probably, if you're like most XJWs, um, you suppressed it. You were told to suppress it. Maybe your gift was that you have a, a real high intellect. Okay, You might have got had a real high GPA in high school and but you weren't going to college, so you never could use it. So you end up doing some menial job, a manual labor job, when your gift is up here. You catch on fast, you catch on quickly. Maybe you were athletically gifted. Maybe you were artistically gifted. Maybe you were musically gifted. Maybe you wanted to be an architect. Maybe you wanted to be a doctor. There's so many things that come natural to us. If we think back to when we were little kids, we had an affinity for something and we had to squash it. We had to be like everybody else, do the same things as if we weren't all uniquely blessed. And many of us are really, really upset about that today. What if I could have been, I should have been. And you look back at your choices and your decisions prior and it upsets you. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. You know, um, I wanted to be a motivational speaker and I knew that you know, when I was a witness, there's no way I'd be able to speak freely and say things that differed from what the church taught and not get in trouble. You know, my speech was always, you know, suppressed. My thoughts were suppressed. You know, you end up becoming like a machine and saying what everybody else says and, and trying to think the same way and do the same things. But I'm here to tell you, you have greatness within you. Every single human being does. And it's almost as if we have an obligation to share that talent, that gift, that skill with the rest of the world. That's what makes the world better, is you being uniquely you. Unfortunately, most of you don't know how to do that because you suppressed it for so long. I want you to look at yourself like a, a great lion that's caged. You know, the lion's the king of the jungle. But if you have a lion that's been in a cage from the time it was born in a zoo, it doesn't know that but it still has a yearning to be free. If it didn't have that yearning, they wouldn't have to lock the door, okay? So your door has been locked all this time because you were threatened by things like disfellowshipping and shunning and things like that. And that's, that's how they lock people into that. So you don't discover your greatness um, and, and you're afraid to, to step out. But lions still want to be free. If you leave the door open, it's taken off. But the problem is that lion will not be as aware as it should be of its own greatness. It might not be aware that it's the king of the jungle. It might not know how to hunt the set the right way, so it has to learn these things, but it's still a grand creature. It's just kind of broken inside. So I want you to start to make a shift. I'm challenging you to start to make a shift to understand that you are not weak, that you are strong. You're very strong. You were strong enough to walk away from something that did not resonate with you. You were strong enough to question things. You were strong enough to leave an entire life behind. You're not weak. And a lot of times, if we're still looking for validation from those people, 
and they've shunned us. We feel weak. We feel like we're wrong. No, you're the strong one. The weak ones are the ones that follow. You're very strong. You just might not have had a game plan of what to do once you got outside the organization. I want you to start spending time with yourself. I really believe that God, or whatever you want to call it, the universe, puts your answers inside of you. You've got to get in touch with you because, again, you are disconnected from that because you were told what to think. You were told the heart is treacherous and all these things, so you didn't trust the voice inside. There's a voice inside of you that's telling you what's right. You have to know that you are in alignment or you want to get yourself in alignment to attain what you're put on earth to do. You have greatness within you. Understand that. You have greatness within you. Instead of looking at yourself as being shunned, instead of looking at yourself as being an outcast, ask yourself, are these people in support of me? Maybe you've got to push them away. So people can't support you, then you don't need them real close to you anyway. So you're the ones calling the shots. I want you to start calling the shots and to step into your strength, to step into your greatness. I don't let people shun me. I don't. I don't play by their rules. I walk right up to you and I'll shake your hand. I don't care if you're trying to shun me and I'll say, how you doing? How's the family? I play by my rules. You need to start playing by your rules. Shower them with love. I don't care what people say. I'm not playing by your rules. I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to be unkind, but I play by my rules. Somebody asked me once if I was disfellowship, which, which I'm not. But I said, those are your words. They don't apply to me. If you're asking me if I'm still in an organization, no. But I don't, I don't use your words. Those terms mean nothing to me. Anyway, how's your dad? How's your mom? I just walk right by it. Step into your strength. Stop playing by their rules. Don't allow them to uh, put you in a box, put you down, make you feel bad. You step into your strength. You live life the way you want to live it. You talk to who you want to talk to. You know, Don't play by their rules because you have greatness in you. And when you understand that, then you start creating the boundaries for your life. You know, I won't even allow my own parents to use the word the truth around me because it's not my truth. So don't say the truth. I'll correct them every single time. Excuse me? That's disrespectful to me because I don't tell you what I believe is the truth. You see, you start creating boundaries and the power shifts. You start gaining the power in the interactions because they start living by your boundaries. So start looking within yourself. Know that you have greatness within you. Go back to the things that you had a calling for earlier. Find a way to express those things in your life. It might be in, a, in the way that you make a living or it might not. Who knows? But get back in touch so you don't live a life with regret. You know, they did a study with a bunch of people in their deathbeds and they asked them, what did you regret about your life? And it was never the things they did do Never the stupid things they did, it's the things they did not do. If you're still breathing, if you still walk upright, you got plenty of life left. Step into it. Let this stuff go. Step into your greatness. Live by your rules. You form your boundaries and you live your life. I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Have a great day.